Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. Doing card of the day. This is for two five, and I have got the Syrian Starseed Tarot here. So I have cleared and shuffled it. Oh, I should also point out that mine is trimmed. No edges, because I trimmed it. I did clear and shuffle these, so I am getting a card. I'm entertained by my little space buns. They're not really even, but I tried. An attempt was made, considering my hair usually exists as an electron cloud. I think that's two. Okay, so we have a pair here. The Adept of Flames, so that's the Knight of Wands. Candle gazing there. Opening the third eye and the solar chakra. Having confidence in what you're downloading from the universe. So I have the Empress in reverse here, abundance inverted. I'm not sure what the planet Venus is doing in February yet. I know that Mercury is currently retrograde. But I, uh, and so, in, um, with the retrogrades, when Mars was in retrograde, I got a lot of this, I want a lot of Venus cards inverted. Like, I want her to come and do the work for me. Or it's like, hey, all of a sudden, why is she not here with me? Like, why is why is she moving away from me? She's not moving away from you. You're moving backwards. She's stationary. That makes sense. Now, Mercury retrograde. Mercury has been coming in for a couple months as, like, the pre-emperor, the pre-Martian, the... <laughs> the Prelude to Foundation. Um, I should read that book. I'm going to keep making references to it. but um, It's the energy of, of the youth. It's like, I'm not settled in my confidence as in terms of masculine energy yet. So I feel uh, like I'm... I'm like sort of cocky and um, a little bit mischievous, but I'm still trying to communicate something. So here, this energy, let me see what the Knight of Wands actually is on here. Knight of Wands. Scorpio and Sagittarian energy. Scorpionic energy could be I need to go deeper, but it also could be me so horny. It's like I I'm getting to a point the masculine energy is getting to a point where they realize they're like oh, I want the Empress. Like, I'm hot for the Empress, right? Sometimes a candle is just a candle here. We know what it means. He's hot for the Empress energy. And there's this understanding of masculine energy, like, oh shit, I need to, like, grow the fuck up here if I want to be with the Empress, because she's not going to deal with that, like, hey, can we hook up for the weekend, friends with benefits kind of energy. It's like, if I'm, you know, playing games and trying to punk everybody, she might not be that interested, and, like, I don't, like, I'm not just horny for her, I have this gut feeling that I want to be with her. So it's like, I need to... Like, he's like in the hermit cave, 
like doing some kind of tantric yoga trying to figure out how he can like essentially grow up right it's it's like the masculine energy is it's like um in the movie Hook with Robin Williams, they're like, why did you leave Neverland, Peter? And he, he goes back and he's kind of a dick, Robin Williams' character. And in the midst of it, he realizes that he stayed away from Neverland because he wanted to be a daddy, right? He wanted to be a father. He wanted to hit that mature masculine energy that, like, I want to provide and grow something. I don't just want to, you know, fight Captain Hook and, you know, have food fights every night. So there's, there's a place for the trickster energy. There's a place for the youthful, for the playing, for the throwing, you know, for paintball, for throwing food at people, for laughing and, and you know, for one night stands, but there's also a place for the energy of like, m of a mature masculine energy who's self-responsible, who's interested in working on like an equal, um, like, um, like, I am the leader of my country, she is the leader of her country, and we know that we're equal, and we're going to discuss, you know, trade relations and resource allocation, right? It's like, are we going to have open borders with each other, or is there going to be some kind of embargo? So, is that the right word? I'm gonna look that up. If I spell it correctly, that might help. I need to hurry up because this is getting a little bit long. Yeah, that was the right word. I need it correctly. Okay, so it's and it's not a bad thing either because any masculine person can harness the youth, the fool energy, basically Mercury. Even though um, the fool is ruled by Uranus instead of by Mercury. Mercurial energy can be the fool. It can be it can be Virgo the maiden also because she's ruled by by Mercury but it's this this energy of a youthful sort of uh, carefree kind of you know let's see what I can get into today kind of energy and so a masculine energy can harness that at the same time as they're harnessing this, like, like, let's get shit done. And, you know, I'm going to take care of the people, father energy. And it can also at the same time still harness the magician energy, like the wizard, the wise man. And right now the masculine energy is experiencing what it, feels like to change to metamorphose from fucking around like the fool on spring break to um you know let's get these pineapples to hawaii it's another robin williams reference okay so that's what's going on on two five so we've got the energy of Two, the High Priestess, the energy of five, the Hierophant, and the energy combined together of the wheel. This is 15 total. That's devil energy. It's Capricornian. It's like held to task. Um, also, if I take the three away from the 12, because this is inverted, that gives me nine. That's the Hermit. So there is this idea of he's in his man cave having thinking thinking about stuff. He's, he's candle gazing, but, and you know, that could be metaphorical as well. All right. So that's the energy that's going on for two, five, if I'm on the right day, make sure two, five. Okay. So if you want to get a personal reading, you can hit me up. The 
catkmag at camp at gmail.com. The list of readings and how much they cost is going to be in the description box below. Everything I have here is through the link tree. If you want to help keep this channel running, that's PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. If you'd like to get something for your cash, you can get prints, merch, and actual art items. In the Cafe Press DeviantArt and Etsy, there's a coupon code there. If you go through the link tree, it'll pop in at the top. Got coloring books and a poetry book there too. So everything through the link tree. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, check out my playlists tab, my discussion tab, and stay groovy and we'll see you later. Bye.